Welcome to all. Dear listener, Kingdom of God is a very important topic. So we would like to invite you to join our devotion this year. The concept of the Kingdom of God is repeated throughout the Bible. This devotion was written by Dr. Peter Kamleshwar Prasad Singh. We would be honored if this message was a blessing for you. Meditation on the Kingdom of God, Day 315 Now all these things happened to them as examples, and they were written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the age have come. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 11 Paul was telling the Corinthian church that everything that took place in the Old Testament was on purpose. We could learn from the events so we don't make the same mistakes again. Instead, we should follow the direction of the Holy Spirit in practical living. Israel had the calling, the promise, and the covenant. They were all baptized into Moses as they were under the cloud and passed through the seas. They all ate the spiritual food and drank spiritual drink, but with most of them, God was not well pleased, for their bodies were scattered in the wilderness. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 2 to 5 The generation led by Moses from Egypt never made it to the Promised Land. They wandered in the wilderness for forty years in unbelief and rebellion, craving for the things of the flesh, the garlic and onion and meat of Egypt. They were all scattered and died. It was written for the church, the body of Christ who had a better covenant and a higher calling. Now these things became our examples, to the intent that we should not lust after evil things, as they also lusted, and do not become idolaters, as we were some of them, nor let us commit sexual immorality, or let us tempt Christ nor complain as some of them also complained and were destroyed by the destroyer. 1 Corinthians verse 6 to 10 The purpose and duty of every disciple is to follow, please and submit to the Lord. We had died and we were saved. We fulfill our duty in obedience as it is required, and this we must adhere to. Noah did everything the Lord had commanded him to do. Let us humble ourselves, learn from them, and yield to his will. To be continued. Thank you for listening to this devotion. Let's meditate and apply it in your life according to your conviction. Please give any suggestion and comment on this. God bless you. Have a good day.